Uh, hi, MET240 students. Now I'm about to show you how I will create a part in client support. And I will copy paste the name so I can use it later. And basically here, what I will do, I will, I will start with the box, which is one rectangular shape extruded, which will be three by two. So it's like I'm, I'm trying to manufacture machine this part. So I have a block of three times two and the thickness is 0 0.5. Then I will remove one rectangular shape. The other, maybe I'll start with this rectangular shape since I have 0 0.75 and 1.5 for it. And I'll remove this one and then I'll, I'll, I'll remove the other one. You see one from this one and then the other one is 1.25. And then I will remove this rectangular shape and then at the end I will make this hole. So I'm going to the inventor and I'll create, I know I'm at the right place, but please make sure that you go to projects and check if, if you're in the right folder and if you're in A drive MET240 and where exactly you should be. So I'll start a new part and I'll select English standard, create, and I'll go to uh, first save this file, save as. And here I will paste because I copied the name, but it's in client support, MET240, and then my first, my last name. And I will open this origin, so I have all these planes. So I'll go create two-dimensional sketch, and I'll select XY plane. I'll start with one rectangular shape, so I'll go here, click on the zero, 0, and make some rectangular shape, dimension it, the bigger one will be 3 in this case, and the uh, smaller one will be 2. And middle mouse key twice, zoom this back in, so I have rectangular shape that I did. And I will finish this sketch, and I will, and again, middle mouse key twice. So I see what's going on, and I will extrude this by 0 0.5 thickness in inches, 0, 0 0.5. I didn't have to type IN for inches. Now I have this block, and now I would like to remove this in the, in the upper right corner. So you see I have dimension 0 0.75 and I have 1.5. So I'm going to Inventor, and I will say I would like to create two-dimensional sketch. I will select this plane, and here in this corner, I will draw one line from somewhere on this line and somewhere at this line. And all I have to dimension is from this point to this line. That should be 0 0.75. And the other one should be from this point to this line. This should be 0 0.5. And I'm done. And I'm going to finish this sketch and I'm going to extrude to select extrude. And this time I would like to cut something. So you see it, I'm selecting here a cut and I'm selecting here somewhere in, in this corner. And I can say that I would like to, to cut through all. And that's all I would like to do. So through all, cut, and I'm done. And now I would like to create this other rectangular shape, which is removed. So you see I have this dimension, 1, and I have 1.25 from below. So I'm going to Inventor, and again I'm creating to this sketch here. And I'm creating a line from somewhere here to somewhere there. And I can create dimension, this point to this point, and that should be 1 inch. And then I have the other one from this point to this, to, from that line to this point, 1.25. And I'm done. All I need is this line. Finish. And I'll create extrude. And I'll use this option again, cut. And I like to use through all in this case. And I have to select the plane profile. So here profile and then Click somewhere here. If you have a hard time selecting, click again here on Profile, and then you can select what you have. And if direction is not good, go and flip it, direction to it. Or you can click here on this line. So let's see if, if I did it correctly. And now I would like to remove this rectangular shape here. So you see I have 0 0.25. This is in the same place where this line lies, and they have 0 0.75 and 5. 
So again, create two-dimensional sketch, select the plane, and I will create a rectangle starting from somewhere in this line. So you see I can select somewhere here and then have rectangular shape. So uh, you see by having this um, purple, I know it's on that line, so I don't need to add uh, extra constraints. So this one should be 0 0.25. This one should be 0 0.5. And the other one should be 0 0.75. I'm done. You see everything is purple. It's good to go. So finish sketch. And again, extrude. Again, I'll select cut. And the profile is this one. And that's it. And I can just change this to through all. And that's it. And now I will, I will select a hole. You see this is hole diameter 1. And I have 1, 1 from this corner. So, I mean, I can use the hole option. Or I can use the, the extrude and just draw the circle. So let's see how the hole option works. The placement will be so on this face, somewhere here. You see how I clicked. And diameter is 1. Okay, and let me see if the placement is correct. So I can select the reference one to be this line, and this would be 1. Uh oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't select the other one. I hit enter before. So I can go here to the tree, right click, and I can say edit feature. And then I can make sure, and I want to make sure that I have another reference as well. So I'll click here and select this reference, and here add one. Or you can just do the circle and you'll be fine. And let me see again, edit feature, if, if this is all good. Okay, diameter is one inch. I have these two references, one, one, that's it. So that that's all. I mean, if I click here on the home, you'll be able to see it. And that was all for the uh, part name inclined support. Just make sure you save it correctly.